Time management is a common issue for pretty much most OU students. So today I'm going to talk to Liliana to find out how she manages her time in a very packed life. Liliana, can we first think about work? You work full time, so how do you fit your study into all of that? Uh, well, I first look at my planner. Um, I need to know what I need to prepare first. I mean, if there is an induction week, I will collaborate with that. Um, I will know uh, who is putting a, a message in the forum, for example, with all the students to see how my peer students are doing. We normally say hello. Um, I try to do it at the weekends, but also I um, and managed to to set up all my studies in the morning, in the afternoon, early afternoon, so that I can be with the family later on uh, um, to, to spend weekends with them as well. Now, very often um, on the study plan, it will give you a sort of allocation of time, like 45 minutes to do this or an hour to do that. How have you found you deal with that time? Are you on track with it? Uh, well, um, for example, in my case, because English is not my first language, some activities will take me longer, some readings will take me longer. I, I tend to highlight uh, parts of paragraphs, uh, but some others will be straight away and some, some reading maybe even I screen read something so that it doesn't, I don't spend that long and I try to be on time with the planner, with the time, with the study planner. Now you've also got a family, so how do you balance the whole sort of work and study and family as well and, and get your family to buy into what you're doing? Well, I explain to them uh, what is the assessment, what do I need to, to do, what do I need to concentrate, how long it will take me, what the assessment is about, uh, talk to them about uh, the subject, you know, and they feel that I'm so in love with the subject that they feel that they, they want to support me. So that's, that's how, how I, I manage with them, but also try to spend time with them. Yeah. Uh, just, just not to be the antisocial. Yeah. <laughs> so. so when you're studying, you're really committed to that, but you also make sure you have quality time with That's them right. to, to plan, I guess, to do activities that you all enjoy. That's right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, there's um, holidays and every other part of life. You need to enjoy yourself and relax because it's yes. for the duration, isn't it? Yes. How have you managed time with with things like that? Well, um, every other year I try to go back to my country of origin, Peru, and I always have to spend about three weeks. So I, I take my, my book with me, or if it's in online, like it was last year, I just bring the PDF that I need to concentrate, you know, to work on, and um, I will read, you know, there in my, in my leisure time, because it's always when, when you're traveling, yeah. there's always some time there to read or to do something. Okay, and finally, what's the one key message that you'd give to all students who might be a little bit worried about juggling time and study? Well, I think the main thing is that you enjoy what you're doing. If you enjoy what you're doing, then you make the most of it. Um, I will uh, definitely um, make sure that they keep up with the, with the time, with the, with the planning, because if you fall behind, then it's, it's more difficult to, to catch up in the end. Um, I will also uh, enjoy life, you know, don't get to stress about it. You have a tutor, you have all the peer students and you, you get lots of support for you, from your peer students as well, uh, which I did last year. It was amazing. Uh, and the teacher, of course, you know, you always can contact them and say, well, I'm, I'm, I don't understand this or I have a doubt about this. And they will encourage you, they will help you. So it's about reaching out and, and making the most of the people around you. Of course, you. absolutely. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you so much, Liliana. Right. Okay, pleasure.